All right, hey there, web design folks. Uh, today in class, we're going to be starting a week-long project where we start with something in Fireworks and we end up with something in our browser. So to do that, we're going to try to design something that's as easy for us to do with HTML and CSS as possible, meaning a simple two-column layout with a header and a footer that we could easily build with floats. To get ready, we're going to create a new folder project named PNG to HTML. Notice this does not go in our labs folder, but we should have a folder set up named project. So let's go double check that we have that. Go into your H drive. Mine's buried under here under sites and examples that we love webby debby. Okay, here's my web design folder. Q2, we have a labs folder. If you don't have one, create a new folder called projects. And then inside of that projects folder, go ahead and create a new folder called PNG to HTML. And this is where we're going to end up saving our um, actual mockup that we create. So step one, we've got a file, a folder named PNG to HTML. Next, create an images folder inside of that PNG to HTML folder. So go inside PNG to HTML, right click, create a new folder called images. And all of this is just to get our folder set up correctly so that we're ready to go. From here I could close that window. And next we'll go back into Fireworks and create a new Fireworks file called mockup.png. So if I go into Fireworks and control N for the nerdies out there, uh, file N for those who you are mouse inclined, create something that's 1080 by 800 by 150 resolution. 1080 by 800 with a 150 resolution. And then we're going to draw our basic shape for the site and I'm going to go in and I'm going to get my rectangle shape. I'm going to pick a background color, a fill color that I want. And I'm going to draw a shape that is 960 by 800. And the way I can make it 960 is once I draw the shape, in the bottom left-hand corner down here, I could change width to 960 and height to 800. X, it's 62 pixels down. I'm going to change X to 0. And Y, I'll change to, let's say, 100. And what that will do, oops, I'm sorry. X is equal to 100. Y is equal to 0. It's a little bit big. Let's try 60. That looks good. So the measurements I have down here, if I draw a shape of any shape, I could set it down in the bottom left corner and hard code 960, 800, 60, and 0. So that's our basic shape right there. On the right hand side, we're going to rename this and we're going to name it wrapper. W-R-A-P-P-E-R. -P -P -E and you'll notice that the name of the layer I just made by double clicking there is the same name of the layer that will name that div in Photoshop. I'm sorry, in our CSS. I'm going to go pretty quickly through the rest of it and I'm going to pick another shape, pick another color, oop, pick another shape, draw a new shape over it for the header, update the color to it, make sure that it looks just right and I'll rename this one to be called header. Next, I'll go ahead and put in a sidebar. Again, I'm going at full speed here. You'll be able to go back later and customize this just the way you want it. But um, let's put a sidebar in. You guys want left or right sidebar? Left. All right. Dupatown says left. So we'll put in a left sidebar there. And I'll change that color. OK. So now I've got a pretty gnarly looking website. And I just want to add one more thing at the bottom, and that is a footer space. So come down to the footer, redraw a footer, and change that to something equally beautiful looking. Mm. Ooh. Hey. Nice. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Go ahead and work on your own until you have something that looks similar to this. And make sure that this width over here is set to 200 pixels wide. So this is 200. This top part is nine, the whole width is 960. 
and then the height of your header and the height of the footer you could determine yourselves. So go ahead and set it up so that you get something like this. And we're going to save it. Oh, last step there. You write sites, examples. Save it into your projects folder inside of images and save it as mockup.png. And there we go.